In this example, I want to show how you can make blog posts if you have a blog on your website. Some people do, some people do not. If you do have a blog, keep in mind that it's something that you will need to constantly update on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. It's something that is ongoing. It's not something you just put up there and leave it alone. It's uh, basically a blog will have articles on a regular basis. And you can do this for your website if you would like. So I just created a blog for this website. And so if we click on blog right now, it doesn't have any blog posts here right now. So I'm going to show you how to add a couple of them. So first thing we're going to do, like we always do, is go up to the website, type in wp-admin. We're in the dashboard. Now, blogs are always have posts. They do not have pages. Pages are what you see right here. These are pages. The confusing part is is that your blog is also a page. You, get, you click on the page in order to access the posts. So if we go back into the dashboard and you'll see that we have um, one post here right now. Um, we'll just trash that one because there's nothing in it. Um, but when you create a blog post or an article that's going to appear on your blog page, you want to make sure that you click on Add New Post, not Pages. Add New Post. Um, and so, but when you go into Pages here, you will see that you actually have Blog as one of your pages. Don't touch this. Do not touch the word Blog in your page list. You do not want to do anything with this. This will confuse you if you do. So you want to make sure when you make a blog post that you always go up to posts. So I'm going to click on posts. I have no posts found. I'm going to click on add new. Okay, this looks exactly like a page edit screen, but it is, but it is actually a blog post. And I'll show you how this works. The first one we're going to do, I already have created here. You can either write the, you can either write your um, blog post right in here, or you can copy and paste it from somewhere else. I happen to have one set up here. So um, currently, I'm in visual mode. I'm going to paste it in here, and I'm going to enter the title here. Um, this title um, always comes shows up in the body above here. It's going to be the big bold letters whenever you go and look at your your blog post, and it's the same thing for a page as well. Um, but just be aware that this is where you're going to put your title. So in this one, I'm going to put um, how to remove gum. from carpet okay and you know you can um, make some little adjustments here so like I'm going to bold these different steps and I think I'm going to underline where it says step by step maybe put an extra space in there just to clean it up a little bit bold this one here Okay, click publish. And now, now that it's been published or updated, I can go in there and view it. And so you can see here, um, it put it in just like it's its, its own page. Um, and when we go to the blog, you'll see it there as well. So it's right there. Okay. Now let's go back in and add another blog post so you can see exactly how the blog works. So we're going to go add new again. And I'm going to add this other article that I have written. Paste it in there. And this one's called How to clean coffee from carpet. So the first one was how to clean gum. This is how to clean coffee. 
and to save time I'm not going to do all the editing right now but you can do all that you want you can add insert pictures just like we showed you in the insert pictures for a page you can do that on a blog post as well so this is the way I want it I'm going to click publish okay and I can go to view post now it's going to show this this one how to clean coffee instead of um, gum now when you go and click on blog we have two blog posts in there right now so we're going to click on blog how to clean coffee from carpet is the first blog post that shows up but if we scroll down we will see that how to remove gum from carpet is below that so now we have two blog posts the most recent one will always show up on top so keep in mind when you're creating blog posts that the most recent one is going to show up on top when you click on the blog page on your website. You will need to play with this a little bit to kind of get the hang of it and understand how it works a little bit, but hopefully this shows you this will get you started and show you how it works.